Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and more. I'm Chris, and we have some more Marvel Studios updates for you today, and this one surrounds a topic that not a lot of people are actually talking about right now, and that is Marvel's new What If Project coming to Disney Plus this summer. Of course, with all of the excitement of Spider-Man No Way Home, waiting on the trailer for that, trying to figure out if it's the Spider-Verse, The Eternals as well has a lot of people with a lot of excitement for big, huge Marvel movies. And then on top of all of that, we have the Loki series just around the corner. With all of this going on, the What If series seems to have been pushed to the side just a little bit as far as hype and excitement goes from the fan base. However, I think this is going to be an extremely entertaining and fun series for fans to have where they can suppose what would have happened to these characters had certain things in the MCU gone a different way. It's a lot of fun to do that and we're getting a lot of the original voice actors including Robert Downey Jr. to return to play their characters in this animated series. We do have a lot of information about a few of the episodes like we know we're going to get a what if Peggy Carter was actually Captain America uh, Captain America Zombie, and what if Black Panther, or T'Challa rather, was actually Star-Lord, and we also are aware that that will be voiced by Chadwick Boseman. But today, from Illuminati, we actually got our first look into what Thor and Chris Hemworth's episode is going to be, and it surrounds a different personality that Thor would have ended up with had things gone a little differently in his life. So we'll cover that, explain what it's going to be like, and talk a little bit more about what if in this video, but a huge congratulation to Gabe Vlogs for winning the giveaway for the Stormbreaker. He has been contacted and has contacted me already, so we're going to get that out to him. But guys, thank you to everybody who participated in the giveaway and remain subscribed if you want to be a part of the community. Also, we've got more giveaways coming down the line. Warren and I love giving back to the community. It's super fun to interact with you guys and to give you guys some really cool Marvel items. But for now, while you're waiting for the next giveaway to start, be sure to check me out on Twitter, on TikTok, and on Discord. Be sure to get involved in the community, chat around, share your ideas, and I'll try to get back to as many of you as possible in the comments section and on those other social media platforms. Let's dive into this though, Thor. His episode is going to be about what if Thor was party Thor. Now, if Thor didn't become the Thor we know and love now, the very responsible adult who isn't the king of Asgard, but definitely has the personality traits of a leader, a strong individual, and a definite teammate you want on your side of the battle, if things had gone a little bit differently, he didn't get banished to Midgard, didn't become humbled, he would have become Party Thor. It appears that the episode Party Thor in the What If series is going to be surrounding around Thor throwing a party on Midgard, an intergalactic galaxy-wide party that ultimately would end up in the possible destruction of Earth. So it's likely we will see Thor kind of arrogant and annoying and kind of a frat bro throwing a gigantic party on this tiny little pathetic planet, inviting all sorts of superheroes and maybe even supervillains to go and rage out on this planet, causing a huge cataclysmic issue that ultimately I'm going to hope to assume he's going to end up solving and fixing and maybe becoming a better Thor after all, but it's also possible in this What If series that they'll just destroy the Earth. These aren't canon to the MCU, but they do show a possibility of different traits of characters had things gone differently in the MCU. So definitely a cool insight to get that and to see that, but the idea that a lot of people are throwing around right now that we have gotten this report about Party Thor is had he not been banished to Midgard in the first Thor movie, it's possible he would have gone off the rails, become super arrogant, and done something similar to what Party Thor is doing in this What If series. Now personally, I don't know a ton of details as to what to expect from these What If episodes, whether they're going to be an hour long, 30 minutes long, and how many much details and different characters will be involved. But in this specific episode, it'd be cool to see what happens with Loki if Thor goes off the deep end. Maybe Loki was offered the opportunity to actually be king of Asgard, and he took that opportunity and became a better person or completely destroyed it. I don't know if we'll see that in this What If series, but it turns out party Thor taking a huge rager from all over the galaxy and centering it on the planet Earth is going to be an exciting spectacle for sure. Now, currently it's rumored that we should be expecting the release of What If in August, but that's not necessarily definite just now. So late summer this year, 
we'll start getting the what if episodes, each one highlighting a different superhero and what their lives would be had details of the past or in the MCU gone slightly differently. Like I already mentioned at the beginning of the video, Zombie, Captain America, Peggy Carter as Captain America, T'Challa as Star-Lord, and now Party Thor. Sounds like a lot of fun and a lot of hypothetical questions might even get answered throughout this series. But I want to know what you guys think and what else you would like to see from the What If series. What are some big questions you have that you hope this series can answer for you or just fun ones that you've come up with on your own? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thank you to everybody who watched till the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and be sure to check up daily for all of our breaking news, theories, updates, and that's for DC, Marvel, Harry Potter, and every major title you can think about happening right here on Cosmic Culture.